Uh, hi, in this video, we are going to see how to register web method integration server as a service in Windows. So basically, whenever you install web method, it will install as application or service. At the time of installation, you have an option to select as a checkbox where you can specify you wanted to install as a service. Assume you have missed it. Then your software edge integration server service, which will not be available in the Windows services list. So you wanted to install so you have installed successfully but the only thing is you don't have a way to start that from the services then what you have to do is you have to register that as a service what you can do is you can go to your installation folder integration server instances default support win32 then you have to run this install svc.bat file then it will register as a service so i'm going to do that so i'm opening a command prompt from that particular folder so it will log in with that particular folder now I'm going to run that install svc.bat file and it's not able to recognize so I'll just run it again yeah so now it's able to recognize and uh, do you want to allow this back okay so I will give yes see here now this particular service got installed install svc.bat and it's installed now and I'll just go to this particular services page or I'll just close at cl close and open it I'll just open services or you can refresh it from there also so I'm opening a Windows services now so earlier I was able to see only universal messaging now if you look at it so it is also installed the web method software edge integration server 10.11 so we are not installing we are basically registering a service for the installed application how we did it so we went to specific folder and we identify the file name which will help to register as a service then we opened that or we executed that particular bat file from here so this way you can register your integration server as a service so nowadays whenever you install it there is a checkbox you have to check it it will automatically come but if you missed it you, this is the way to do it no need to reinstall it again so if you run this one it will come in your services list and from there later you can stop or start or you can do the restart for your integration server thank you uh, hi, thank you for watching this video so far. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this Tech Lightning channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.